Hello, good morning, everybody. I'm your host, Club Brother. That was the Club that was watching, bro. Coming to you live right here in Leesburg, Virginia, Mount, Mount County area. Today, ladies and gents, I'll get you guys to the fact that the Rams had taken on the Tampa Bay Bucks. I'll talk with you guys about the fact that Mark Ingram and J.K. Dobbins have COVID. They will not be in the game against the um, Steelers, by the way. Billion Cousins agrees to a one-year offer with the Rockets, by the way. UConn Women's Lady, or the Lady Huskies, UConn, they halt their activities due, due to having COVID, by the way. Not looking good there. Tommy Sweeney going to be, has a heart condition, does a myocarditis, by the way, resulting in COVID. 2020 KBL champ. Charlie Morton agrees to a one-year 50 mil offer with the Braves, the team that that he uh, dread, that dreads them back in 02, by the way. And there's no trade clause to tell you about that for sure. And that's all the news I'm having for today, buddy, just for that. So I'm going to start things off with the fact that the uh, Rams have taken down the Tampa Bay Bucks, by the way, 27 to 24. Jared Goff had there was 39 to 51 catches and attempts, 376 passing yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions, and one carry. Malcolm Brown had three carries, 20 rushing yards, one reception, eight receiving yards. Cam Akers had five carries, 15 rushing yards, one reception, and four receiving yards. Cooper Cup had 11 receptions and 145 receiving yards. Robert Woods had two carries, four, negative four rushing yards, 12 receptions, and 130 receiving yards. Josh Reynolds had three receptions and 32 receiving yards. Gerald Everett had four receptions. Tampa Bay TB12, Tom Brady had 26 48 catch and attempts, 216 passing yards, two touchdowns and interceptions, one sack. He said once in that game. Browns was second at 10 carries, 24 rushing yards. Leonard Fournette had seven carries, 17 rushing yards, one reception, and he had nine receiving yards. AB had one carry and a yard, eight receptions and 57 receiving yards. Chris Godwin had seven receptions. Seven receptions and, and 53 receiving yards. Mike Evans had five receptions and 49 receiving yards. The Gronkinator had two receptions and 25 receiving yards. Cameron Bright had three receptions and 23 receiving yards. Those those that those right there, that shows you that the that the Rams have taken out the Tampa Bay Bucks. Honestly, I don't know what happened to Tampa Bay because he wasn't himself. To be honest, I mean they're I mean, they're six to four now. So, are they doomed? Are they doomed now? So, all right, see ya. So, I'll stay on that note, everybody. And, um, yeah, it didn't sit well with anybody. I could say that. So, this is me surprising nobody. So, that's all the news I will have right there. Everybody on that. And, um, yeah, just a hopefully. They'll come back. They will come back. I can tell you that right now. I can tell you that right now. I see. I must have a play against the middle. All right, I'm going to have my key. Oh, God. I don't know if you need to get hugged. Oh, God. No. No. Put the leg over there. Stinker. I'll turn around. Um, are we on camera? Oh, Hi, everybody. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. No. Oh, God. No. Okay, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, guys. Oh. Hang on, everybody. Back, everybody. Right back. You see, you see seven times, by the way. You see, a turkey that serves.
I'm sorry, buddy. My apologies. My apologies, everybody. So I don't have a type of bay, but clearly that was my three points in the game. Three, three points in the game. Tom Bay, I mean, it was just, so they were just absolutely awful. Absolutely awful. That would happen. Like, what happened to Tampa Bay? Are you kidding me? Like, it's just disappointing, and he didn't show up. Tampa Bay, I mean, he only lost by three points in the game. And more importantly, he just, I don't know if he's got any chance to make it to the playoffs. He still does. I mean, they're only six and, I mean, I think like six and four. But clear, something's got to be said there, you know? Tampa Bay. Just didn't. I don't think he showed up. Because I don't know what happened to him, but um, Tom Bay didn't even show up in that game. I mean, it wasn't like a, it wasn't a blowout. Oh no, no, no. Tom Bay. I mean, he just completely just blew this one. Over through the over through the passes, and he cost him interception. I saw how it went down, and clearly that interception that last score just cost him. And I just and and it just really. It was just disappointing. It really was. So, Tama Bay has got to get together. So, I don't know what happened to him last night, but Tom Bay needs to get together. And there's playoffs. And his playoff hopes are probably in jeopardy, I'm assuming, but they got to get together. That's what they really need. So, I don't know if Tom Bay at the Bucks or Tom Bay Bucks are going to get to the playoff spot, which, they secu- which they're now trying to secure a playoff spot. But it um, won't, won't be that easy for them. I can tell you that right now. So, it's safe to say. That they, they got to get together. Yes, you get you have Leonard Fournette, you have Gronk, and you got well A B who should not be there. You got you got Chris Godwin, you got Mike Evans, you got Ronald Jones second. So they need to get to get together. So Tom Bay should not be facing that many pressure. He should not. It's just, it was just uncalled for because their chances of of surviving in the playoffs. Maybe not Jeopardy. Whoever they got next will be good for them. So they got to get together what they really need to do. So hopefully he needs to get – hopefully Tom Bay Bucks can come back and rebound from that loss they had from last night against the Rams. That's what they need to do right there. So, I mean, he's committed like two – like committed like two interceptions in the game. Sack once, interceptions, committed turnovers. That didn't look good for them. So so Tom Bay and the Bucks they got to get together because they need to just – I don't know what happened here, but he needs to get together what he needs to do. All right, so another thing I want to point out, by the way, that Boogie Cousins signed a one-year offer with the Rockets, by the way. So Boogie Cousins only played 78 games, and he's come off numerous leg injuries they sustained or ACL injuries. So honestly, for him, I don't know if this is a good move for him. He's a a former NBA champ, by the way. So him going to the Rockets, I don't know about that. Because the team owner happens to be, have ties with the, um, has tie, has, I'm sorry, what's what's his name, um, Tillman Fratetta, by the way, he's got ties with the Republican Party, and he's absolutely a Trump kisser and a Trump supporter, by the way. And I don't think that's probably a good move because James, I mean, because it's safe to say that James Harden and, and uh, Russell Westbrook, they won out of the Rockets for good. So honestly, for him, I just don't see why, you know, Billy Cousins wants to be with the Rockets. I, I don't see that happen. I just don't see it. So I mean, I know he got, I know he agreed to the one year offer with the Rockets, by the way. So honestly, was it really a good move? Was it really worth it? So let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be more than just wants that. And um, honestly, I don't know. If this is I mean, he he used to play for the Lakers, by the way. But um, he's coming. He had numerous. He's been out of action coming from like numerous Lakers they sustained. So honestly, for him, 
I know what's ahead of him, but what he needs to get against what he needs to do. So honestly, it just didn't look good. So he's with the Rockets now. I can tell you that. Also, another thing I want to point out, by the way, the UConn, women, UConn Lady Huskies, B-Ball, they have uh, halted their activities because one of the members had COVID, by the way, and that member will be um, get, is in isolation as of right now. That's all there is to it. You need to know everybody on that. Other news that uh, Mark Ingram and um, J.K. Dob- J.K. Dobbins, they have COVID, by the way. They're in isolation. They're going to miss their rematch game against the, against the 10 of those Steelers on Thanksgiving this coming Thursday. So really not looking good there. And they're going to be in isolation for sure. They're going to test some results. And um, honestly, not looking good there. So not looking good. Also, some other things I want to point out, by the way, some uh, that uh, Tommy, Tommy Sweeney, he is um, diagnosed with uh, myocarditis, which is a rare heart condition, resulting of, which is resulting in COVID, by the way. Myocarditis, by the way, weakens the heart that rest that the rest of the body can't sustain, won't get enough blood, by the way. The clots can form in the heart, leading to a stroke or a heart attack. So it seems like Tommy Sweeney of the Bills, he could be out for until next next year, by the way. He may be needing um treatment for sure. So hopefully wish him well, wish him speedy recovery. Hopefully he fight battles this. Tries to come back from this, and uh, hopefully he'll be um, 100% for sure. Hopefully he will be. So, um, honestly, he's got to get together because this is not looking good there. So he, he may have to, he may miss the rest of the season, and honestly, this is not looking good for him. So, honestly, he's got to, you know, at least try to get together and try to at least come back from this recover. And he takes time, by the way, to recover from this illness. So that's what he needs to do. And results in COVID, by the way. So he may be getting test results right there. And honestly, he may get treatment as well. So hopefully – he um, gets help that he needs, what he needs to do. All right, also some other news I want to point out here, by the way. That, um, let's see. The NC Dinos, who are the Korean baseball team, they're the K-2020 KBL champs, and they have a huge sort of a trophy, a sword trophy that, by the way. You guys seen it on Twitter just earlier today, and they won, so congrats to them on that. Other news that... um. Charlie Morton agreed to a one-year, 15 mil offer to return to the Braves. By the way, yeah, to, yeah, with the offer with the Braves. By the way, now the Braves they drafted him back in 2002. Now, I can tell you that there's an he's got, there is a no no protect no trade protection no incentives clauses. By the way, and it's built and that's built that's in the offer. With the with the Braves, by the way, so that's surprising news right there, everybody. On that, he got drafted back to Tilson too. Helped the uh, Braves, Braves, by the way, by the way, get a win. He wants to the champs, I guess. So that that is all there is to it for that. And um, yeah, so Charlie Morton agreed to a one year offer with one year offer worth fifteen mil with the Braves. The Braves dra- drafted him back to Tilson too, and honestly, he's got there's no. Trade incentive, no trade protection, and no clause. No incentive clause, by the way. So that's really looking good for him on that. And um, honestly, it's not the offer. So that's for the Braves, by the way. So rest him on that. Pretty good move, big move right there. Let me know how you feel about that. Where, where, what your actual responses are. Also, I want to say happy birthdays out to Catherine Heigl, Sarah Highland, Danielle Nicolette, Colin Hanks, the son of um, Tom Hanks, Oscar Robertson. LiAngelo Ball, Handy Ursell, the Glam Zone, former and former W Hall of Famer, Women's Champ Beth Phoenix, John Hill, Keo, Motsep, Shirley Henderson, Natalie O'Dell, Ryan Fitzmagic, who had no business being, who had no business, by the way, who should have been benched, by the way, who clearly should have stayed benched, by the way. Like, why would you want to have Ryan Fitzmagic? This is ridiculous. And that cost them. To the, to the Broncos, which I don't call for. Yeah, Ryan Fitzmagic, by the way, Fitzmagic, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Ryan Fitzmagic, Lola, Blodini, Dave Bing, Jimmy Graham, Katie Selman, Jazz the Rapper, Sayoris, Monica, Jackson, Aylin, Mujica, Chelsea, May, Kid Fury, Michaela Wayne, Elena Sat- Satine, Anthony Ogogo, Carmelita, Jeter, Carolina Sandoval, Lil Quete, Sindarius, Thornwell, Mike Hoffman, Jalen Fryer, Eddie Johnston, Selena, Jaitley, Louis Sanchez, Lisa Maxwell, Amanda Wiss, 
Terry Lewis, David Booth, Jermaine, Len, Sabrina, Parlator, Bob Hill, Roy Miller, Rochelle, Rayo, Sonia Arujo, and Shavlik Randolph. So send your brother wishes, your brother shows, brother tweets everybody to them. That's all you got. All you guys got to do, everybody. And uh, yep, that does say it all. So send your brother wishes, your brother shows, brother tweets to them, and um, I do everybody. So you should check that out. Check that out on that. To know in the comments. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that will do right there for the Clothing Level Sports Sport. Please be sure to like, subscribe to the Clothing Level Sports Sport YouTube channel on Facebook by any and all means necessary. Be sure you send me your comments, your reaction, your thoughts on the uh, Rams taking out the time of Bay Bucks by 27 to 24. Let me know about in the comments section. I'll be more than happy to address the response to everybody. Is, is the pressure really on top of Bay? Let me know about that. And um, that, what, are you, what are your thoughts about that? Are? I'll address the response to everybody. You listen to the NC Dinos. Winning the uh, 2020 Korean Series Baseball and holding a giant sword of a tro giant sword trophy. What are your thoughts about that? Let me know in the comments section. I'll address sponsor everybody on that. Your thoughts on the uh, Billy Cousins signing a one-year offer with the um, Rockets, by the way. Let me know in the comments section. Was that a good move or a bad move? Let me know, let me know about that. Your thoughts on Charlie Morton agreeing to a one-year 50 mil offer. To return with the birth to come back to the brace, by the way, you know he, he got drafted to the brace back in 2002. Thoughts about that? I'll just sponsor everybody on that as well. No trade protection and uh, no no incentive clauses there on his offer. So with the brace, by the way, thoughts about that? I'll just sponsor that. You know, some UConn women's basketball, Lady Huskies basketball suspending their activities after a member had COVID. We also Mark Ingram second and Jake and Jake Dobbins having COVID. Thoughts about that? I'll just sponsor that. Say brother wishes out to um Catherine Heigel, Sarah Highland, Danielle Nicolette, Colin Hangs, Jimmy Graham, Katie Salmon, Bob Hill, Jeremy Lenz, and uh, Mike, yeah, Mike Hoffman, Sandera Storwell, Jenna Fryer. And uh please send your brother send your brother wishes out to them, the brother shows up, but they tweet everybody, that's all you gotta do. I bet my breaking news. Sometimes I've only seen to learn a whole lot more in the club of sports, but everything sports related, everything you need to know. That's all I gotta say. Right? So take care, you guys. You guys have a good day. Please be safe. Bye bye. What's that? Take care, you guys. You guys have a good day. Be sure to enjoy Thanksgiving. Take care. Bye bye bye. And please be safe. Bye bye, everybody.